Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars. And today we're gonna to talk about how not to lose money and how I lost money with Amazon ads for Merch by Amazon. You ready? Let's get started. Now, you might notice the setting is a little different. This is because we are actually on the set of a podcast that I manage. And this is kind of what I do for a living. So anyway, this is just a sneak peek into my life. This is a little impromptu. It's a last minute thing. I wanted to make sure to get this up on Monday, October 19th, because last week I was supposed to be in Montana, but I got COVID. So, you know, got, thankfully I had all of that uh, content, prep, content prepped up and I was able to roll on as if nothing happened. But secretly in the background while y'all were watching those videos, I was feeling like I was slowly dying. But anyway, uh, life is good. I'm back to normal now. And here we go with some Merch by Amazon tips so that you can start your investing future. And remember, this is why we do this, guys. We got started on Merch by Amazon. And this content specifically is for you to get on Merch by Amazon to start making money so that you can invest it in the stock market, real estate, whatever you want to do and reach your financial goals of financial independence. If that's something you're interested in, please like and subscribe and let's get into this for today. So Breast Cancer Awareness Month happened in October. Well, it's happening now. It's the 19th right now. So we're pretty much most of the way through the month. Most of the marches that are going to happen have already happened or people who are going to get shirts have already gotten shirts. So Right now, I'm going to do my best to put up screenshots of where I'm at right now. And it is a atrocious situation because I blew my own budget and I broke my own rules of keeping your ACOS below, um, what is it, 20%. And I think I went well above 40% on some of my ads and I've just recently cut them off and cut my losses to um, make sure that I don't get... Uh, get taken advantage of anymore by the advertising thing. So like I said, what I did wrong, we'll start from the top is I let most of my um, ads get above 40%. And this is because, you know, it was the middle of October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. These were mostly breast cancer ads. And I just had the mindset that, you know, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. This is whenever I'm supposed to be spending a lot of money to make sure that these shirts get out there. And I made new shirts during the month and started putting ads on those shirts and just let them get above 40% whenever I knew in my heart that I shouldn't be letting this happen. I shouldn't let it get above 40% ACOS because that's double what my profit should be, or that's double what my profit would be. And you know, I was setting the bids for some of these shirts at like 39, 42 cents cost per click. And it was just, you know, blowing the budget, the daily budget of a dollar, which I still recommend and I still kept that but it blew that budget within, you know, the span of maybe half a day, the budget would be gone. You know, I usually like to keep that ACOS around 20, 25 cents, maybe 29 if you're in a competitive niche, but I had these ACOS around 32 to 40 to 40 cents cost per click. So it was killing my potential and draining that daily budget real quick. So my ads weren't being that effective. And I didn't break even on most of these ads that were up. There's one or two that were, you know, hovering around 15% that made up for a little bit of those ads, but a lot of those ads, like you'll see in the screenshots, just, you know, they blew the budget and it didn't really do much for me in the way of making sure that I was actually going to make money from this. You know, I basically broke even or lost money on a lot of these ads. So it was not a good thing. And so what I should have done what I should do and what you should do in these situations where you're making ads for specific, um, let's call them holidays. Like it's October breast cancer awareness is the stuff that I was designing for. And October is the month where everybody buys a shirt for it. So this, um, was a time whenever I just let the bids get way above where they should have been. 27 is the highest 27 cents is the highest bid that it should have gotten up to. And I should have just capped it there because, you know, I know if it doesn't get, a, or if it gets above that 20% A cost at 27 cents cost per click, then it's not really a design that people are wanting. And I should probably just go ahead and cut my losses and leave it there. 
and I should have known that the daily budget would have been reached even with a lower cost per click because this happens all the time for my other ads. You know, if it's like a popular season like pancreatic cancer that's coming up in November, I'm already seeing those bids or those uh, daily budgets starting to shrink, you know, pretty quickly. So the ads being, or a lot of people are clicking on those ads and a lot of people are buying shirts, but I'm not having to spend as much as I was in breast cancer awareness, if that makes sense. So breast cancer awareness for this month in October, I had my bids around 39, 40 cents cost per click, daily budget of a dollar. So that means that every time someone clicked on that ad, it was potentially spending up to 40% of my daily budget, which is, you know, 40%. So, you know, two or three clicks and I'm done for the day. Whereas in the pancreatic cancer, um, ads that I have set up, there are maybe 25, 27%, 27 cent cost per click. And so that means that I'll have at least maybe four chances instead of two or three with the breast cancer awareness to get people to click on those ads to actually spend up the daily budget. And usually most of those pancreatic cancer ads, not around October and November, they don't really, they don't really um, break that uh, dollar per day spend threshold. But anyway, that's just what's going to happen. So moving forward, the goal is to make money and not just break even because we're not doing this and we're not using ads as a way to break even. We want to make money. That's the whole point of what we're doing right now. So what am I going to do moving forward into November for Pancreatic Cancer Awareness Month? Well, I'm just going to leave the ads where they are and I'm not going to start adding new shirts to this space. And I'm just going to focus on, maybe I'll go back and start focusing on breast cancer awareness now because... Well, maybe not now, maybe wait till, you know, we're into November and then start redesigning for breast cancer awareness, autism awareness and things like that. But what got me in trouble with breast cancer awareness is the fact that I was designing for the month that I was in and I was putting a whole bunch of spin behind it, trying to get those designs to sell. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But so moving forward, pancreatic cancer awareness. I'm not going to be designing for pancreatic cancer awareness, which is happening in November. I'm just going to leave all those designs as they are. If I do put one up, it's going to get the same 25, 27 cent cost per click. And then just let those ads ride. And if they get above, you know, 20% ACOS, then I'll definitely cut them off because that is where it's, um, it's just not going to be beneficial. So keep the bids around 27, shut them off if the spend gets over $5 without a sale or like $5 within 30 day period without a sale, shut the ad off. Or if you get above 30% ACOS. So those are my two, uh, two necessities for shutting off the, uh, shutting off the ad. And I'm not going to design, to design for the current season that I'm in. And that is pancreatic cancer awareness in November. So guys, keep all of this in mind whenever you're designing and using ads to promote your t-shirts. Because if you're in the month that you're designing for and you're throwing ads out there, that's whenever the ads are going to be the most expensive. So make sure you don't lose money by following these rules and don't do like I did, design way out, Go ahead and use ads to get your shirts to rank before that season starts. And then once that season is upon you, just go ahead and let your ads ride and just do it that way. It's going to be a lot smarter and it's going to save you a lot of money. And hopefully you won't make the same mistake I did. I did make a lot of money. I did make at least $100 off of one shirt for the month of October. I did do pretty well. I think I'm around $640 right now for the month. And it's the 19th, so that's not too bad. Hopefully, I'll break a thousand in revenue. I'm probably going to be around four hundred, five hundred dollars in ad spend, unfortunately, which is not not where I wanted to be. I wanted to be, you know, maybe making a thousand a month, a thousand this month, and then maybe spending two hundred dollars or three hundred dollars in ads at the most. But it is what it is. Live and you learn. Should have known better, but you know, we're here now. I'm over COVID. I have an opportunity to do it again, and I will do it again in November. So looking forward to seeing you guys then. I'll be back in my same setup in my living room. Hopefully, uh, see you Wednesday. And remember, someone's going to do something great 
every day, guys. Why not you? See ya.